Pebu, Gamebird. Although this game isn't native for Mac, we found three working alternative solutions, Boosteroid, Crossover, and Whiskey. If you don't know anything about these methods, we'll help you in a sec. But if you know what you want to use, look at the timestamps and jump to the segment you want. Repo is a very light game that doesn't really have that much going for it in terms of visuals, so the settings aren't important at all. This means running it locally through Crossover is a solid solution, but you must keep in mind that you can only get a 12-month subscription or a lifetime license for Crossover, which isn't exactly cheap. For this reason, if you just want to try out Repo, I'd suggest going with the Boosteroid Cloud Gaming platform for a month. Then there's also Whiskey, Crossover's budget-friendly cousin, but it's by far the least stable and most finicky option and will probably become obsolete soon, as it's no longer getting support from its developer. Before I begin the instructions, note that you must already own Repo to play it via any of the following methods. I'll first start with the most straightforward option, Boosteroid. It's a cloud gaming service, so all you need to do is follow the link in the description, register on the Boosteroid site, and start your subscription. Then simply find the game and launch it. That's all. The next two options, Crossover and Whiskey, require a bit more setting up. For Crossover, follow the respective link below, register and either purchase the app or go for its 14-day free trial which is what I recommend. After Crossover downloads, launch it, install the app, and create a new bottle from the bottle menu. Then go to Install, find Steam, and install it in the new bottle. Steam will start automatically, so close it, enable D3D Metal and eSync, and then start Steam again. All that's left to do now is find the game in your library, install it and click play. The whiskey method is a bit more finicky, but the plus here is that it's totally free. You must first download the latest version of the whiskey app from the provided link below and extract the zip file in your applications folder. Then you must create a new bottle with Windows 10 or 11 compatibility and go to the Steam page linked below. On that page, click the Windows logo icon to download Steam for Windows. That's the version you need. In whiskey, click Run, find and open the Steam installer and install Steam in the whiskey bottle. Once Steam is installed, launch it, find the game, download it, and click play. Okay, so let's talk about the two main ways I tried playing Repo on my Mac. Boosteroid for cloud streaming and Crossover and Whiskey for native-ish installs. Both totally work but provide different experience. Boosteroid first. Honestly, it's just smooth. I bought Repo, I logged in, launched the game, and boom, up and running. No installs or config files. My Wi-Fi mostly held up with a consistent 1080p and 60fps, but I did notice some input lag during chaotic moments. Ping was sitting around 22 milliseconds, which was okay. You'll see some image compression, especially in darker areas, but but this is by far the most convenient and easiest way to play the game. Now for Crossover and Whiskey. Crossover was solid on my M1 Mac. Setup took maybe 20 minutes, and once D3D Metal was on, it ran smooth. Minimal crashes and multiplayer worked as intended, as long as I was the host. Whiskey though, total mess at first. Steam didn't launch, black screens all over, but once I dialed in DXVK and MSync, things turned around fast. Played with 5 people, and it actually held up around the same as Crossover. Maybe 10% worse performance. Bottom line, Boostroid is plug and play, super convenient, but you trade a bit of responsiveness. Crossover's the cleaner local option, faster and more stable once it's set up. Whiskey is the DIY path, more fiddling, but it can work well enough if you're patient. So those were the methods that worked for us. Did you already try any of them? Do you know any other workarounds? Let us know in the comments below. Till next time!